life originates about 3.6 to 3.9 billion years ago. And by the way, it seems to have originated fairly quickly. Uh, within probably about 100 million years, see, I'm being an evolutionary biologist again, within just 100 million years, uh, after water could exist on the surface of the planet in liquid form, so following the meteorite bombardment, when the surface of the planet cools down enough for water to be liquid, life probably originates pretty quickly. And uh, arguably, within the first hundred generations, the first parasites were around. So those things happen pretty quickly. Then eukaryotes and meiosis, which is how a biologist refers to organized sex, happen about 1.5 to 2.5 billion years ago. Multicellularity, which gives us developmental biology, about a billion years ago. All the major body plans for animals appear to have, uh, with the exception perhaps of the uh, jellyfish and a few of their relatives, they all seem to have originated about 550 million years ago. There was a near loss of life on the planet in the Permian mass extinction. We will study that later in the course. You're welcome to write an essay on mass extinctions if you want to. You know, big death is kind of exciting. Um, it seems to have occurred basically by a process of poisoning of the oceans. The flowers radiate about between 65 and 135 million years ago. Language is important because once language occurs, then we have an independent kind of information transmission from generation to generation. We get cultural transmission. That's probably about 60 to 100,000 years old, at least with syntax and complicated information storage. Writing is only about 6,000 years old, and of course the important stuff is quite recent. So this is a view of life that goes from bacteria to dinosaurs, to rock and roll. And that all can be studied with evolutionary principles. 